babe, you're out of the frame. I don't care. It's just a little bit too big. It's close though. I always find just to go straight for the, the wine and the cocktails, but Jeff was like, no, we're going to the gym first. This is where I want to stand. Okay, we are back. I actually have something to say. Hi, I'm Lindsay. And this is Jeff. That's Ozzy. And we are Sailing Invictus. When the pandemic hit, we made the decision to get back on the water. So we found Invictus and made our dreams a reality. This might sound crazy, but last year has been one of the funnest years ever. Jeff and I have covered some serious ground, and this is just the beginning of our time on the water together. Now Jeff and I can explore, adventure, and most importantly, surf. Take a moment to like this video and subscribe to this channel. We hope you join us on our journey as we embark on an epic adventure navigate the highs and lows of boat ownership and living abroad. Oh, what do you have to say? Uh, Jeff was right. At least this one time, I... It's been wanted... documented. <laughs> it, it is. Uh, Jeff had the point and wanted to really make a point that everyone wants to see real and for us to be true and authentic and let's just kind of let's capture that and we did and it showed so for all of you who liked the last video and watched we really thank you and you're right yeah so it showed by friends and people who reached out to me and said mm -hmm. hey you're right you know uh the comments, we like the comments. Easy, like seeing somebody who's constantly grooming you and welcome to my world. Um, but uh, yeah, so for me to be involved with this project, I need to kind of be who I am for better, for worse. It's kind of showing people stuff. I don't like, you know, talking through every little point of, hey, this is how it's done. But, if that's the way Lindsay wants to do it. It's not about that. It's about, it. they call it show and tell for a reason. You show people and you tell to them. To a limited degree. No, you don't just like. No, it is. I think you spend too many words on every. You're right. I bet this is a learning process done. and I'm not just going to walk around with the camera and say nothing. But again, you probably guys probably don't want to see 20 minutes of us just sitting here and talking either. So. Boom, so perfect. We have to have a good mix, but I practice like This is looking. where they bring the thing and say cut. <laughs> no, but anyway, if you are new here or if you are back, please hit the subscribe, hit the like button. It helps uh, share it. We spend a lot of time putting these videos together, filming, editing. It's free for you and it helps us out. So hit the like button. Thank you so much. I wish we would have filmed the five minutes of fighting about how we were No, we got some sit. of it. I'll show that. Recorded. Okay, but you can't lean. You have to lean there more. We go. You're Nothing right changes. here. And the here, come closer. You're out of the frame. No. Babe, you're out of the frame. I don't care. I really don't care. Change the frame. That's what the way we are, or what? You said there was something you wanted to say to the camera. I know. I want just you to say it. Babe, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm right more. here. If you want to just, I'm going to get, I, uh, it would have been a repeat of last week. No, it, so. it was a little bit, but you know what? Jeff and I aren't perfect. We do love each other, but we have very strong personalities, both of us. And the more time goes by. Type A, type B. Hey, I'm going to take the elevator downstairs. See you oh, guys next out. week. He's gone. Up, oh, here it is. It's he's going. He's gone. Okay. We have a very busy day. We're actually heading to a place now called Price Mart, which is Central America's Costco. And we've got to get some food and some supplies for the boat. We've got a lot of organizing to do. There's stuff everywhere. Jeff is already elbow deep, knee deep, whatever deep in projects. And yeah, so we just got to keep on moving and enjoy the show. Oh, uh, stay till the end. That's all I'm going to say, but you got to watch till the end.
going. Very smart. All right. Oh, where are my shoes? We are tripping in the car, heading to Price Mart. Where's Ozzy? Do we need to lock him in? Ozzy! Oh, good. All right. Uh, he's probably going to jump off. We should just put him inside. I don't know what else to do because he keeps jumping off. Ozzy keeps jumping off the boat. In fact, last night I woke up uh, around two o'clock and I heard him barking. So I, I came back and uh, I came outside and I saw Ozzy on the dock. So I had to go outside and pick him up and put him back on the boat in the middle of the night. So he's getting overly confident to jump off of the boat. And that's not really good because he could jump and fall in the water and I might not wake up to hear him. So that kind of concerns, concerns me. So I don't know, I think we should leave him inside, but Jeff's setting up a little thing so he won't jump over. Is the other side closed? Yeah, okay. oh, not, not closed, I got the cooler bag. Oh, we want the cooler bag. Now. We want the cooler bag. Yes, because we are going to Price Mart. So we're getting off the boat, gonna go jump in the car. Jeff's looking for the power source for the navigation lights, and it's in here somewhere. So it's one of those wires. I mean, does it look like, is there a certain color? There's a, it's red and... So in order to turn that off and on, you have to open this compartment. Yep. Could have done it without you. Mm. Light you think should be on one side. It's that way. You had a 50-50. I did, and I got it wrong. Actually, no, I think you got it right. Woo! You got it right. Yeah, it's... <laughs> it's We're basically replacing the navigation lights on the tender, on our dinghy. Last one was burned out. We bought a whole new unit, and I'm just, uh, it's wired a little bit differently. So I'm just thinking right now, do I want to snip these? Because that was the old way of connecting to the old unit, and this one just has where the wire goes through and screwed down. Uh, okay. I guess I, I have a question. So, because this seems like it would slide in here, and then there's no exposed wire. So is that going to corrode? Is that like a bad thing? No. There's, you know, I can basically put some liquid tape or something on it, so it has no way to uh, water penetrate it. But you're going to cut these? Yeah, they're going to cut them. The nail counterpoint for this that I could just stick in. So before I cut them, I'm going to look in my electrical box and <coughs> see if I have something where I can do it that way because I do like being able just to unplug like that. Alright, so I was trying to get Jeff on the film over here replacing the light on the dinghy, which isn't that big of a deal, but we are trying to document all this stuff for you. In the meantime, all I gotta do is look around the boat and there's always something to do. Like, uh, Jeff refilled the water tanks yesterday and the water tanks on the boat are... Um, are right here on the front. So this is how we fill them. They also, the, the front of the boat also catches rainwater. So if we're out and it's raining, all we have to do is open a valve underneath the boat and we can fill our tanks with fresh rainwater. But anyway, um, I looked around. He filled the tanks last night and this is the hose. It's black and red and it's just sitting in the sun. So here's one thing I, you know, constantly kind of go around. I do have to pick up after Jeff. He's really good with starting projects and finishing them. 
but not picking up after himself. He puts stuff away, but I don't know. There's, there's just always something. We just, there's so much going on. There's just so much to, to deal with and organize. So it works out. So I got to put this, get this out of the sun because the sun will destroy everything. <laughs> Testing what is going I on here? Installed this double USB plug on the center console of our Ooh. inflatable. Was there one there before? There was a uh, oh, this guy there. that's the old cigarette lighter kind, it looked all kind of corroded in there. Oh, well, we don't need that anymore. And then you found this. I bought this when I was in the US. Oh, awesome! <gasps> oh my gosh, it works! Yeah, open that knife. Mm -hmm rebuilt the center <coughs> uh the con top of the console up here that holds our chart plotter and our radio and our depth gauge okay and then i reinstalled the chart plotter and now that's securely this was all wonky and flopping all over the place it was horrible fix the navigation light which is in the front the one thing to remember for this charger for the phone I'm pretty sure we need that navigation light on because I saw it on the That's all right. Yeah. And this is, uh, what kind of bulbs are these? Those are 12 volt. Uh, They're not LED? No. Oh, no. I don't know. Maybe they are. That's a good question. No, they're not LED. And does that work with the okay, light off? So light off now. Light on, light yes. On. So maybe I can figure a way to put this on its own switch. I'm sure everybody watching is like, yeah, it's kind of easy. So yeah. I'll Push get, your glasses up, they're falling off it, your face. I'll put it on the project list. We'll get it, get her done. Is the light on or off right now? It's on. It's tight. Yeah, awesome. Anyway. Good yeah. job. You want some lunch? Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm really. I'll All right, give me, yeah, you go take a shower because I can smell you. And I'll finish lunch. the back of the engine just that way you know that you've got good water going through the system okay keeping it cool Ozzy Ozzy you stay but that was not you that was me sailing I know, but still, that was, it's just pretty funny that it was like thinking that it just cracks me up I said, how about we go work out and then we come back and get ready to go to oh my the gosh <laughs> Well, that's what I say most days. I don't know why I even questioned you. I cannot believe it. Well, I can't believe it, but we made it to the gym and it wasn't my idea. Jeff said, hey, what do you want to do? You want to go work out before we go get some cocktails and hang out later? And I was like, yeah. I'm usually the one who asks and my jaw almost dropped. But anyway, he's, uh, he's getting warmed up and we're going to get this workout started.
That was a great workout. I'm glad Jeff thought of it. No, it was his idea. I was fine just to go straight for the, the wine and the cocktails, but Jeff was like, no, we're going to the gym first. So I'm really glad we did, because now I'm hungry. And Jeff earned himself a beer. Salud. Hello, everyone. Well, hello and, and goodbye. We're saying hello because we haven't uh, filmed since earlier, but we look really cute. You look great. Thank you. We're going to this event tonight called the Shane event over at the Bahia del Sol right next to us. We just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody who has watched this episode all the way to here. This is Jeff's least favorite part, but thank you so much and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, it is, it's easy. And it shares this with everyone else because we work really hard. I think people must think I'm a mute. Well, we'll say something. Hey, thanks everybody, thank you so much. God, I'm just speechless. You're not speechless. Next week I'll have uh, more to say and I'll probably have a few things to complain about and then also share with you uh -huh. and uh, yeah. I want to keep. I want to keep my persona going. I'm that guy. Jeff's the, um, the ultimate man of mystery. He's not. Once you get him talking, he's a, he's definitely a storyteller. So it'll happen. It'll happen. But anyway, thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Again, yes. Stop that. All right. See you. Bye. See what happens in next week's episode, where we pull up to one of the world's most iconic hotels on our dinghy here in the Papagayo Peninsula in Costa Rica. Until then, Pura Vida.